How's it Ganon lads? Marshall here and welcome to another Versus on the channel. We haven't done one of these all week and I thought, you know what? Let's do one for the weekend. We have Skiller versus Skiller. This is going to be good. A new transfer. One's just went to PSG on a free. The other, Team of the Season Bufal, or Bufal in general if you want to say, has just made a massive transfer for a massive fee to South. Hampton, I do believe. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of challenge their 86 rated cards. I thought it would have been quite unfair to have Team of the Season bet off uh, a higher rated card, a much higher rated card. So yeah, Footy spin off at 86 and Bufal at 86. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, lads, head on over to jdoa.com. Use that code M89. Get yourself a discount. Every single link you'll need is right there in the description below. As we take a look at their base card stats, you can see Bufal 91 pace and 91 dribbling compared to Ben Arthur 85 pace 94 dribbling that is the main stat for me that dribbling stat Ben Arthur is better than Buffal in that category even though both of these are over the 90s pace Buffal nails him nails him 91 pace to Ben Arthur's 85 shooting 87 on Buffal 91 on Ben Arthur this card is so overpowered, and the main stat for me, it's not the passing, it's not the defending, both of them on 45, it is the physical, 55 on Bufal, he's weak as a fart, and then on Ben Arthur, 85, he's the strongest steal for a 5 star skiller on this game, let's have a look at the in-games, so on in the in-games and lads, and as you can see by the wall of green on the left, compared with the right, Ben Arthur smashes Bufal out the water, 87 strength to Bufal's 44, that is outstanding. Skill attributes, 94 ball control, 96 dribbling on Ben Arthur, 88 ball control, 91 dribbling on Bufal. Finishing is the same at 88 on both cards. So if they do get in position to score goals, they will score goals. Ben Arthur, 95 shot power, Bufal at 89. So in terms of long shots, that goes down to Ben Arthur. Now we've seen Ben Arthur on left there stat wise. You've seen Bufal on the right. We have a switch around now. Ben Arthur on right. Bufal on the left, and the player we're going to focus on first is Hatem Ben Arthur. And the main pro with both of these cards is the five star skills. It's the reason why we're doing this versus to see who is the better skiller, who's the more effective skiller, who's going to score goals, who's going to win your games, who are you going to have more fun with. Now, what I will say about Ben Arthur, his strength sensational you've seen it there in the background he can hold off challenges ghost in the area that jink there sensational so good from ben arthur he's got a wicked free kick on him so long shots op from range he can bang them like the best of them on this game but that isn't what i was trying out in this versus what i was trying out was their dribbling was their ability to ghost past challenges be evasive, see how silky skillful they were, as they see him jink past a couple of challenges, I'm not really pulling out the 5 star skills, I just want to pull out the effective skills, and he does score at the end of the run, shooting is another pro for Ben Arthur, now the main corner with Ben Arthur is his movement, his work rates let him down, medium to low, he is quite lazy, especially for a CM, as a calm, he is in position from time to time, but as a CM, he doesn't get forward and you want to get forward, he doesn't defend at all, low defensive work rates, he does get forward every now and then, and he is effective, but those work rates let him down, on to team of the season, Sofian Bufal, I think that's his first name anyway, if I do get that wrong, I do apologise, now Bufal is one of the most evasive cards on the game, what I will liken this card to is Neymar and how evasive he is, because he's so light on his feet, he can jink in and out of challenges, he's got great agility, and that agility allows him to be fast on the ball, I know I speak about it a lot, but just look at that in there in the background, 88 finishing, coming into effect as well, so his shooting is very good, I shushed my opponent, because basically he was being a dick, he shushed me, so I shushed them back, 2-1 up, Bufal with the goal, 5 star skills, that is a pro in itself, the speed, this card, like I just said, is very, very fast. Great acceleration, great sprint speed, and it gets in advantageous situations due to the pace, due to his high attack and work rates, and due to him just being a good card in general. He's shooting very good, as you see there in the background, a precision strike right into the back of the net. Now, the main corner with Bufal is his strength. You would have guessed that already. 55 physicality or physical, whatever you want to call that stat. 
isn't great and it's not great for the card. If he does get touched, he's hitting the ground like a sack of shite. You can bet your bloody house on it. But he's costing between 70 on the Xbox, 85 on the PlayStation, Ben Arthur 85 on the Xbox, 90 on the PlayStation. So Buffal is the cheaper player. And in terms of getting into those situations to score, Buffal, obviously in this formation, was doing it more often. Let's have a look at the endgame stats. So taking a look at the endgame stats and lads, as you can see, goal scored four for Buffal. You would have seen it in the gameplay three for Ben Arthur. Assist made one for Buffal. Ironically, it was an assist to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur had zero assists, so he was involved in three goals compared to Buffal's five. Passes completed, again, it goes to Buffal, 48, compared with Ben Arthur's 42. Dribbles completed, and this is the main one for me, as I'm comparing Dribbler versus Dribbler, Skiller versus Skiller, it goes to Buffal, 41 and 30 for Ben Arthur. Now, in terms of position, and whether it's more effective to be in a position to do the dribbles, yes, left wing is the ideal position to dribble on this game. Right wing is the same, but being a centre mid, like Ben Arthur, he can go on dribbles from the halfway line. He doesn't have to pass it to a winger. He can just go on a dribble. And I was trying it with Ben Arthur. I didn't put more emphasis into one card than the other. I give them equal opportunities. And Ben Arthur completed 30 compared with Buffal's 41. Match rating, 8.8 .8 for Buffal. 8.7 for Ben Arthur. So there is only one winner in this versus. And it surprised me. Buffal comes out on top. He's cheaper, he did better in games, he was involved in more goals, and it, uh, basically, he's an ideal skiller on this game, because he is very fast, he's very nippy, he's very evasive, Ben Arthur is fast, he is nippy, he is evasive, but Buffal just seems to have the edge of the 86 rated card, despite the stats going in Ben Arthur's favour. Game-wise, game-wise, not statistically at the end, because that goes to Buffal, so lads, Buffal wins this, in terms of more verses on the channel, let me know in the description below. I might do a Ronaldo versus Messi, seeing as Ronaldo come out at number one in terms of FIFA 17 ratings. But let me know in the comments section below. And I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. That's always massively, massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time. Yeah.